Hello everybody and welcome. Today is New Year's Eve and it's the new year. 2020 is ending. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So um, we're very excited we're going to hang out. It's a very chill New Year's because once again we're still in 2020. So it's going to be a little bit more chill than the last year's where we were at the bar hanging out at Prohibition. Um, if you haven't seen that, that was a really fun time. I, I don't know if I made a film on that. But last year we went to a bar and it was super fun. It's like a 1920s bar. But today we're just going to chill. I'm going to do a couple things around the house. Also, I haven't got to show you guys this yet. We're going to cut to past Jake. And we're actually going to show you clean up the escape room for Christmas. And you guys get to see what the Christmas room looks like. So go see past Jake. Hello everybody and welcome. As you can see, we're in a tropical jungle right now. And I totally forgot, I was trying to take it down today, I was like, wait, I haven't shown you guys all the Christmas through here. So, at the escape room, um, if you're not aware, I work at an escape room and I build everything, this is one of the sets we're at. But I totally forgot that I didn't show you what we did for Christmas, so join me. Um, I'll explain, like, two things have been taken down and I'll just tell you guys what they were. So, onward we go. So, we start our adventure off at the quest. And as you can see, Santa stopped by and left a couple ornaments on our bamboo throughout this area and put little gifts on them. Even the bats are a little Christmassy next to them. And then we walk into here. So one of the things that's missing is there was a reef right here that was covered in like jungle stuff, but and rope. I'll show you guys what it looked like later. But and yes, that is a real photo signed by Harrison Ford, so that's always cool. And then over here we have our staff that was given to Santa by Santa. Then let's see if I can get to a pan focus out there. And then all the gifts from around the world. Everything's been kind of wrapped up, nutcrackers, Santa hats. Um, the horn started falling off, but it used to look like a reindeer. And then another nutcracker. And then right here we had another stockings. I already started taking one down. That's when I was like, oh crap, I should show you guys what we're doing. But to like two brides just for you, an avocado from Skipper Jake. And like to Greg, a new head from Trader Sam. And maybe a bit small. Or in this one, to Skipper Jake, a snake from Santa Claus. Ho ho. And then as you can see, the snake kind of escaped through this stocking and it's now causing chaos in the temple. And also, we had Christmas music coming on our TV because I was very inspired by Jungle Cruise or when they do Jingle Cruise, so I was very inspired. But it's all nice and jazzy here, but not gonna lie, not sad that it's going away because Christmas music is stuck in your head a lot more than just normal, like, swing music. But stockings are gone and I'll show you guys what it looks like after everything's gone. And then throughout our hallways we have lovely Christmas tree, Christmas wreaths. Yeah we used to have garland that went across all this but we're just like you know what the wreaths look better. And then over in countdown right on this old light there used to be Christmas stuff on that so it's kind of sad not to have it on there but oh well. And then this area is practically done now. Um, I just have that last ornament up there that I had to get a stool to get up on. But now it's just normal quest. Except for the music, I have to switch that too. So, and then once we go in here, this is our Christmas room. And I've been saying how much I've been working on this, so I can't wait to show you guys. I have to kind of hide a couple areas, but... This used to be our old Houdini room, but now it's all Christmassy. And there's stuff I had to avoid. But all the shelves are all Christmas fied. Little towns, ornaments. Then over here we have like candy canes and stuff. Whoa. And over here we have candy canes. I'll show just that, but we have snowflakes. <laughs> and we have a really dark Christmas tree, but once you grab this lovely switch right here and you guys may be familiar with this if you're in my last vlog at home it turns on the Christmas tree and isn't that just darling a whole bunch of Christmas presents underneath there then you get back here into Santa's workshop don't mind the thunder for the other rooms but 
There's a whole bunch of puzzles down this area into the elves work area. Then over here, you can actually hear the reindeer. This is the reindeer stables. Let's see if I can get one to come. They're very picky. Oh, I, I, I hear one. Can, can you guys hear it? Rudolph's trying again. So that's to the reindeer stables. And then over here, this is where all the elves work and their workbench. And don't mind the lights flickering out, freaking out. That's just part of how the room goes. Um, cameras have a hard time focusing with these types of lights. But this is like one of my favorite areas. Like all the maps where Santa's leaving. What toys need to be made. It's great. This is like one of my favorite areas. Getting Christmas ready through this area. And of course there's Christmas music as well. And something I can't show you guys is it smells like cookies in here and it's like one of the best smells ever. Everyone loves cold in this room, right? It smells like super good cookies and it's like great instead of like the cabin where there's like smell of death or whatnot and then elves are in here. It's great. I love this room. It's super fun. So I'll show you the rest of the place but I wanted her and show you this. And we don't do anything for Ghost Hotel for Christmas, which I'm kind of surprised we don't, but in our lobby I'll show you what we did. We have lovely nutcrackers and stuff above the lockers. Our huge Christmas tree with a couple of gifts under it. Then there's a little Christmas corner. I'll show you that in a second. But even the very front, we have a plexiglass in front of our receptionist. And of course we had to make it festive. The TV switches out a little bit. And then over here, we have a lovely, um, just a little display area. Reindeer masks, telling people to wear their masks, right? I'll show you guys one other thing I totally forgot about Quest. And to make Quest feel festive, we have a nuclear bunker covered in Christmas lights. How festive. And before you even go in cabin, our lovely killer likes to put out mistletoe, as you can see. So there's little fingers and stuff hanging in the trees, so that's always neat. And it has nothing to do with the room. The room's completely the same, but this area has a little festive. Wow, wasn't that entertaining? So now we're back home. Christmas is over at the skate room, but it's still going on here. Baby Yoda still has a Santa hat on, but we're slowly to pick that up. But today, right now, but right now, we're gonna actually go build a Lego for a second because I got one and I'll just show you guys a little time lapse because who doesn't like building Legos? Um, I got it for Christmas, so that's always cool. And it's a San Francisco one. It's like a fancy one, so. That would be pretty neat. Also, Roam and Wander. That's pretty fun, too. So, it's going to be a grand day. We're going to have a grand time. So, let's get started. So this is where we're at right now. We got the base done. So like, I think this is going to be our Alcatrazes and I think this is part of the fence. I mean, not fence, the Golden Gate Bridge. And this is the city, but it says San Francisco. I just don't know what it looks like. So on to bag two. So something that I found that's really cool while I've been working on this is they give you little facts about the buildings you're building. So like this huge building, they have they have windows that are 360 so they can clean them the, from the inside and the outside. So they don't have to be on the outside trying to fix them up. But that's really cool. I like that there's facts in it. So now we are over at my sister's celebrating New Year's in the freezing cold. Who doesn't it's like watching? It's at least 20 degrees. So. 30. 30 degrees, but it feels like 20 to me, so. 31, y'all so judgy. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy some fireworks for a second and you know, just have a chill day. So that's what we're doing right now. Just a little bit. Oh, 
So it is three minutes till midnight. We're very excited. Happy New Year's. And the thing is, right now we've been playing board games. We played a Haunted Mansion board game that took us two hours. Now we're playing Telestrations After Dark, so it's very, very fun. So we're getting close. It's almost there. We're at my parents. We're hanging out with two of our friends, and it's just a very chill time. But woo! Five, five four, three. Two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Sorry, we went into the next I I don't like. I don't like that. Happy New Year! So we are back home. I'm very, very tired. It is two in the morning. I know I was. We were celebrating New Year's a second ago. I was just like. I'm very tired now. I mean, it was just a very chill New Year's. We just sat around playing board games, and that's all we did. Had snack trays out, drank a little bit of alcohol, and just had a really good time. It was fun. We played, um, what was it? Telestrations After Dark, and then we also played the Han Mansion um, Spirit Calling the Spirits. And then, I can't remember what that one was, but just a really chill night. Just fun games, inappropriate games with the family, so you know, that's always fun and kind of weird. <laughs> but it was it was really good. I had a really good time. Um, I hope everyone has some, uh, I hope everyone has a really good New Year's. Um, tell me some of your resolutions that you guys are going to do. I'm kind of still thinking over some of mine, so I don't know if I want to say them out loud just yet, but I know I have a couple, some personal ones, and then some that I'll tell you guys later because you'll find out because it has something to do with the channel, of course. So, I'm very excited for this new year. Um, you know, after last year, it was a lot. So, you know, we'll celebrate this new one the best we can. And, and take care of yourself. And we'll see where we decide to run the water next.